it's Lauren Gafer here, back for another episode of Feel Good Friday, my weekly video show where I share health, nutrition, and mindset tips to help you quit sugar and get off the roller coaster of yo yo dieting so that you can feel happy and joyful around food again. Now, today we are continuing my series of videos, which I started last week. So, if you haven't watched last week's video, go back and watch that one where I shared my three top reasons why I believe that diets fail. And this is from working with hundreds and hundreds of women who've come to me from numerous slimming clubs and been on diets for years and years, and actually the diets have failed them. It's not you that's failing, it is the diets. And in last week's video, I shared the three biggest reasons as to why I believed these diets did not work in the long term. So today I'm gonna to be going into one of those reasons, the top one, in a little bit more detail and giving you a few tips and tricks as to how you can actually overcome this and make healthy eating work for you and your everyday life. So the top reason that I shared last week why I believe that diets fail, and this is from you know popular slimming clubs, uh, you know other popular diets that I see lots of women having been on, and it's the food. Now, if we look in a little bit more detail at, you know, some of the top slimming clubs, for example, I'm not gonna name any names, but you know the ones that I'm talking about. You may have even been a member of one of these slimming clubs, or in fact, perhaps you still are. The problem with the food that you are eating is that it's not sustainable in the long term. Now, on the surface of it, actually some of the food looks really healthy. You're eating good quality proteins, you know, chicken, fish, that kind of thing, and you've got lots of salads and lots of vegetables, and that's a good thing. Listen, I'm not coming down hard on eating loads of vegetables and loads of salads. That's not a problem. But when you scratch beneath the surface, there are some foods that you are allowed to eat in unlimited amounts that when you just use a little bit of common sense, surely you must think to yourself, this can't be healthy for me in the long run. And also, you are cutting out a key food group that is absolutely vital for your long-term health, and that is fat. When you look at a lot of the recipes that are provided in the plans for these slimming clubs, sure, you've got plenty of different vegetables and salads and protein, but scratch the surface and you are using low calorie cooking sprays, which are really poor for your health. There's no avocados there. There's no nuts there. There's no coconut oil, all the kinds of things that I recommend on a regular basis because they're really good for your health. These fats help your body to prevent long-term degenerative diseases, diseases of the brain, metabolic diseases like diabetes and the like, they're going to help you to manage your cravings. That's one of the biggest things that I help women to do, is to manage your cravings. And if you're not eating good quality fats, then your insulin and your blood sugar is going to be all over the place because you're basically eating a lot of refined sugars and carbohydrates even on these diets. Another thing that you may be allowed to eat unlimited amounts of is things like fat-free yogurts, which when you read the ingredients are loaded with sugar and artificial sweeteners and artificial additives and all sorts of things that are really bad for your health and aren't going to be giving you the energy that you want and making you feel vibrant and alive. These foods do not do that. Your body does not know what to do with a lot of these artificial sweeteners and artificial colorings and additives and those kinds of things. And the other thing that you may be recommended to eat are certain branded snack bars and ready meals because they're low calorie. And sure, this might be helping you with your long-term goal of wanting to lose weight. And yes, you might be really successful in losing weight in the short term, but long term, these are really, really difficult to sustain because you are not managing your cravings and there's going to come a point when your cravings are out of control and what are you going to reach for? You're going to reach for high fatty foods, but not healthy fatty foods. You're not going to be going for an avocado at this point, are you? You're going to be going for cream cakes and biscuits, which are loaded full of trans fats and hydrogenated fats, which are are horrible for your health. These have been linked to long-term degenerative diseases, which we don't want. We want to live a long and healthy life. That's what I'm here to help you do, to live a long and healthy life and not be sick, not be ill, not be reliant on medication, not be at the doctors all the time. That's what I'm here in the long term to help you to achieve. And it has to start with the food that you're eating and what you're putting inside your body. And if you were just to take a step back and go, hang on a minute, 
none of this really makes sense. I'm allowed to eat unlimited amounts of snack bars, but they're full of sugar and refined carbohydrates and additives and all sorts of, of ingredients that I don't know how to pronounce. Why am I allowed to eat these in unlimited amounts? Think to yourself why you might be allowed to eat these in unlimited amounts, because they are branded sometimes branded by the very slimming club that you are a member of. And the other reason why I have got a problem with the food that is provided in a lot of these diets is that every ingredient that you're eating has some kind of numerical value to it, which you are tracking in some way. And you might be foregoing healthy foods in favor of unhealthy foods. So for example, on the surface of it, uh, an avocado is high in calories. And you might say, hang on a minute, that's too many calories for today's allocation, or today's number of points, or that's a sinful food, or however you're tracking your food. I'm gonna forego an avocado, or even a quarter of an avocado, so that I can have a glass of wine later. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, when you are swapping out healthy foods so that you can still eat really unhealthy things but have them in larger quantities. So again, it's about using your common sense. And when you are given a list of foods that are forbidden, it creates a really unhealthy relationship with food because suddenly you've got foods that are good and foods that are evil and you're not allowed to touch these foods over here because they are considered sinful, evil, the devil, whatever you wanna call them. But when you look at that list of foods, maybe you're allowed them in very, very tiny, tiny quantities like a teaspoon of olive oil or a teaspoon of avocado or one nut or something along those lines. But you're foregoing eating those really healthy foods in favor of unhealthy foods all because you're just trying to lose weight and that's the only goal you have in mind which is another one of the reasons that I spoke about last week. But again, I'll be coming that, uh, onto that in uh, later videos. So to recap, when you are on a restricted diet and you are cutting out large food groups, for example, fat, you are going to crave these foods in greater quantities in the long run. And you might have success in losing weight on a low calorie diet, but eventually, and I've seen this time and time again, it's all going to fall apart and it's either you're on a diet or off a diet. There's no middle ground. There's no healthy balance and it's just everything's gone out the window and I'm stuffing myself with everything on the forbidden list or I'm being really, really good and restricting myself and everything is perfect and I'm in this bubble of diet, but it's just not sustainable and I've just seen it too many times and I don't want that for you. I want you to use your common sense. So what can you do about this? Because I understand that it can be really, really confusing when you're being told different things everywhere you look. You might read someone's Instagram post that tells you to eat this. You might read a newspaper article that tells you to do that. All of a sudden coconut oil is the worst food you could possibly eat and then it's this and then it's that. It's really confusing and social media and the media does not make it any easier for you but I want to try and make it easy for you and I just want you to use your common sense. So next time you're on a diet or thinking of starting a diet, have a look at the foods that you are allowed to eat in greater quantities and think to yourself, is this actually healthy? Is this doing my health good in the long run or is it only lining somebody else's pockets or very, very low in calories, which isn't in the long run gonna help with cravings and getting you off that roller coaster of yo-yo dieting and sugar addiction. So if you haven't already downloaded my quick and easy sugar-free snack ebook, then you can get that by going to laurengayford.com forward slash snacks. The link is around this video. And I will send you a little ebook with some really healthy blood sugar balancing snacks made with whole foods, no artificial sweeteners or additives, no sugar, just whole healthy foods. And these are going to help you to balance your blood sugar and help you with your cravings. So next time you feel tempted to eat a low calorie snack bar or some kind of fat free thing that you just don't think makes sense, then grab my ebook and make one of the snacks and see if that helps you with your blood sugar. And ultimately it is going to help you with your long term health. Now, next week I will be going into more reasons why diets fail. And the second reason that I mentioned in last week's video, which was my 
mindset. So we'll be covering that in a little bit more detail uh, next week on Feel Good Friday. If you've enjoyed this video and the tips I've shared with you, then please do share it out amongst your friends and family. Follow, like me on Facebook or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd be very, very grateful if you would do that so that you can continue to receive my tips and so that I can help you with your long-term health. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll catch you next week on Feel Good Friday. Take care. Bye.